Um, let's take it, let's do a throwback. Yeah? In the first time you hit the stage was in 2008. Cynthia, that was the first time you got on stage. That was not, um, that mm -hmm. was the first time that I got on stage as Calligraph Jones. As Calligraph Jones. Jones. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So that was the first time. That was how, the first how, time. Was, how was that experience? Just you having, and let's say, was it, was it your first time you kick starting your, um, your music career pro, pro professionally? No. Uh -huh. Um, the way the way it happened is um, it was not even planned. Yeah, uh, it was at Wapi, Wapi Words and Pitches mm -hmm. British Council it used yeah. to happen mm -hmm. back in the days. They had they had this competition that was ongoing, and at first you know I didn't get up on stage, but it reached a point where they were calling out rappers from the crowd. And uh, they had these guys on stage who are battling, you know, like yeah. a freestyle battle. Yeah, so yeah. they were asking if there's a rapper in the crowd who feels like he can take, you know, any of these rappers who are standing on stage. Uh -huh. And um, I remember I was with my boy Proface. Proface, ni, like my bro, you know, we go mm -hmm. way back, way, way, way back. Um, yeah. And uh, I was, uh, in 2008, I was in, I was in four, around form, form two, form three, Apple. Hmm. Uh, so nika nika panda too. I was a nobody, because uh, you know. Kujiamini. Yeah, ni nile tu kujiamini. Now nesika sa your time. Sa isi na jua when you kilam tu nimsani, kilam tu nimsani sababu wa moana. Lado moana kina calligraph na imba kilam na jua kilam tu your time si kilam tu kwa msani. So wala watu kuanga pale juu wala kwa stage. There were people who were actually very talented. Mm. They had skills for days. And for you to even step up on stage and go against them, then that meant you also needed to have that, you know, same amount of skill, if not more. So me, I got up on stage. And I remember there's a guy called Point Blank. Yeah, there's a guy called Point Blank. Um, uh, was a calligraph. At a prophet, best time to be a calligraph. And um, so Point Blank asked me, "What's my stage name? What, what name do I go by?" I told him, "My name is Calligraph." Random to uh, random to come a minute to a calligraph. Yeah. Uh, Point Blank, I, I can announce on stage. So we got calligraph on stage, you know. So I'm like, "Yeah, let's let's get it going." And that's the first time, you know, to have a freestyle battle. Mm -hmm. um, came out of nowhere. Yeah, and, and I didn't have a click. I only had my boy Proface. I think I say that on a song off the Testimony 1990 mm -hmm. album. Started rapping, freestyling on stage. Freestyle. I was my 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 shit was impressive. Everybody was mind blown. Like um seme tokawapi, ujamana floaje. You know, you like it mm. was something out of this world. And because there's there's a certain way people are rapping, and there's a certain way I was rapping. It was so different. And I I guess up on the malisa sawa tu akajua tu ni mazishi man. Kabido meti. Nai John C John C tokawapi. There's a certain um, gospel group. See, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've, if you've been a keen follower of the gospel, the ministry, Nimboza ministry, yeah. then you will know. Um, bishop. <laughs> yeah. So, but it was a rap group. Uh -huh. So, in uh, Gwenajita, Fourth Avenue Jones. Yeah. Fourth Avenue Jones. Um, so, your Jones nearly you talk of Fourth Avenue Jones. Mm -hmm. I t decided to put it together with Calligraph because I felt like they. Zilik was in Indiana, it was so compatible. So I just decided to go with myself, Calligraph mm -hmm. Jones. Yeah, yeah. Because at first I was Calligraph yeah. without the Jones. Without the Jones. And then after a couple of months, I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna take the Jones too and put mm -hmm. it together with Calligraph. All right. Yeah. So in in 2009, you took part in Channel O M C Africa competitions. Eh? Yep. Yep. Which which um which ulishinda, but you didn't travel because of uh, travel mm -hmm. documents. Eh? Mm -hmm. Um. Now, in line with that, mm. what are some of the moments in your life that things weren't, um, let's say, according to your expectations or according to your control? Mm. But uh, but again, it's like, it's like more of like a turning point. Mm. But looking looking at them, it was like, oh shit, Maze, I was supposed to go for this. But for you this, know, yeah. well, you want to know what the funny thing is? Yeah, yeah. Even at that point when it happened that I didn't travel yeah. because I didn't have the traveling documents. Yeah. I, I I wasn't angry. I wasn't mad. I was actually happy, because when I went to the competition, I did not go with the intention of winning. Of winning. I was just going out there to try out my luck. Not mm. really. Sikwana join as a fikio level, because you know I had been competing before with the freestyle battles, but with this particular battle, it was different. Because mm. 
you only had to express yourself mm-hmm. in in, mm-hmm. in the English language, and um, your your time. I don't even I don't even know. Even up to date, I'm still trying to polish my grammar and all mm-hmm. that. But your time, I was in I was in the fourth form. Now, you know, I'm, I'm coming from Kaiole, man, and your Kalibaya, your Ilikoi Mesetiwa, we had people like, you know, Bamboos, bro, mm-hmm. Kimia. Yeah. Uh, we had Point Blank. Um, these are people who I had previously viewed as my superiors, Ikifikanikwa rap game. Mm-hmm. And they're all taking, you know, part in this competition. So mm-hmm. you can only imagine, man. I didn't know I was going to even. Yani ni ni ata siku win watch atari yani ilikuwa ni mara tu kusema tu juice I don't have any ilikuwa mara tu ku represent cuz yeah. I don't have anything else to do watch tu nikapiga shughuli yeah. so ukafika hapo <laughs> manze jo kupiga shughuli na na na, na, na shinda buda kidogo <laughs> you know the way I'm doing my thing I guess I had done a lot the thing with me is that I'm even up to now I still uh-huh. practice I feel like I still need to perfect my craft yeah, to, uh, don't settle le- for less. Exactly, yeah. So I was I was doing a lot of practice back then. Kumbizo practice ilikuja could pay off during yeah. the competition because you know got up on stage. Abbas was the mm-hmm. Abbas was the judge. Nazizi was also a judge, um, and Moafrika, Moafrika, mm. the legendary Moafrika, yani. mm-hmm. So I remember I get up on stage. You tell me, Cal- your, your name? Who? Your name? My name is Calligraph. Of course, they knew me from Wapi, mm-hmm. but out there you had to give a proper introduction, mm. uh, int- introduce yourself properly because you likuwa inakuwa covered na ile ni ni achane lo. Yeah, yeah. Unawa na achane lo yake na kabelo na yake na nani nani. What's your name? Calligraph. Uh, yeah. Calligraph. Abbas. I think Abbas is the one who told me what to rap about because you were getting up on stage. They were giving you a topic and you had to rap. You know, create mystery apple like on and on like you just have to freestyle about whatever topic they were going to give you mm-hmm. Abbas was holding a glass and he was like yeah your name is Calligraph <laughs> this is a glass right here won't you rap about this glass and they they, they put on a beat I <laughs> mean <laughs> <laughs> Goso, I like and, and wataki anything. Yeah. Kama unapiga hapo mashenga au manini, nikapiga buda, kaichapa, nikaingia glass, you know, nene wanna pass if you really on my class and nene nene rap. Hey, they were actually very impressed with the way I was um delivering. Mm-hmm. From the get go, I've always had a very good delivery even if I'm not saying yeah, anything yeah. of substance. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, you get the pass and yani the, the rest is history. Ilikuwa fiti manzi in the app with you. Haikufanyika siku travel. Oh, <laughs> Mimi niko na mimi niko na mbaula alafu tulikuwa pale side pale nini pale hii hii hiyo mali homeboys where homeboys used to be uh, what was it inaitwa ngaje fellow baricho road baricho, yeah. Yeah. so kulikuwa na club inaitwa choices hapo hivyo so pale baricho ndo nifikie mtaa tulikuwa na kadunga yole hiyo idha mm-hmm. um ilikuwa inanibidi nipitie inaitwaje tupitie railways yeah pale railways yani kuna kale kasi unajua so, railways pale hivi mm-hmm. afu yani kuna pale nini ile bridge ya railways yeah. unataka mtu hivi unaenda una ipandia hapo ndio ya yeah, tuk hiyo eh so tuko na that mimi na jiko na na that mimi nina mbaula na na moti of course hiyo time haina hakuna matatu zinaenda mtaa yeah. sasa tukaamuaniaje acha tupige kalesa hadi tao acha tu ingi toka hapo tu ingi tao na ilikuwa ni almost hiyo time tuko tukatuka kata jupia pale kwa clubs yeah. ki, after tumemaliza competition immediately we were done with the competition and and uh, you know I, I was there and these channel low guys left toka tuacha pale hivi sisi wale tujashinda mm-hmm. shida yenu hatuna pesa hatuna pesa hatuna pesa ya drinks yeah. ya kuka kwa club na club competition si imeisha wale mabonsa kuja kuambia ni aje buda hapa kama huko ni kitu kayanga hivi jiondoe jiondoe mimi mtuzijai la nje na pale jiko na kona dhate mimi niko na baula hatuna ferrari ya kufika mta tukasema acha tu, tuongoje hapo nje ya club tukaka hapo nje ikafika kitu kama around 4:30 enda kufika 5 tukaka hata hivi tukaipitia hiyo bridge ya hiyo railways hapo pale tukabambwa na karao e, e, e. ulikomeza hivi sasa hiyo 
mimi anga ni kwanga nime nilisikwanga mkubwa hivi lakini nilikuwa nimejaa tu ever since i can remember because i've mm-hmm. always been a big bodied person you know mm-hmm. so eh hey, karama amekuja pale manzi naambia eh hey, si hatuna kitu mimi hatuna kitu eh hey, ule jamaa ataki ni ashato apingu na afu ni mlevi pia huko karao akachukua hiyo nini akachukua akachukua pingu na tukiwa tuko nataka kubamba mm-hmm. tukamwambia nani akona akona hiyo 30 bob mimi niko na mbao so akachukua hiyo selasa na hiyo mbao na tukabaki hivyo yani manzi tukabaki hivyo eh tukabaki hivyo tukaenda waso tukaenda tu yani tusami nikaenda kongoja pale OTC nika relax nika relax kafika around kitu kama saa moja saa moja nika dungia nika dungia mzae wangu tenje eh ni aje nini sidani si mpesa kama zilikuwa zime zilikuwa anga zime nini i don't even zilikuwa zime nini zimechomoka vizuri kwa sababu sikuwa anga na id mm, unaona mm. sikuwa na id yeah. so, na hiyo ndio kitu pili kitu ilifanya ni yeah, yeah, yeah. so ilikuwa ni ngori lakini uzuri tulipata mi jiko nili jiko nalikuwa na shika loleni uh-huh. jiko na kaishia kivi yake jiko na kaingia f2 yeah. mi sijui mambo za f2 mi sijaenda club bunda <laughs> so mimi nikaingia pale nini kifika hivi saa moja mwanze jo I think nili ile kwele harakati I think this is legitimate lakini nili, nilifika mtaa nilifika yeah. mtaa hopefully the good things that I got home mm-hmm. I was living with I was living with my dad and kafika nikamwambia story yani <laughs> but I had a phone my nigga I had a my phone so nothing really mattered yeah to me that was a very good experience the satisfaction yani, that yeah, came from participating yeah. in the event yeah. 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 Y